Hello, it's Douglas. It's a little windy. There's some rain coming in, but I'm going to try to do a little something here. Explain what it is that I've been dealing with and trying to figure out. And it's taken me seven months of dealing with uh, a therapist that has only helped me mentally deal with this. Uh, no physical therapy. I tried it for a while, and the physical therapist only had a small idea of what to do. Uh, I've tried massage therapy. It's hard to reach. Uh, the closest uh, therapist that the VA will pay for is in Durango, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a drive for me, and uh, gas money being what it is. But so, what I am going to... <clears throat> what I have been dealing with is my body has been twisted. I've been so many places that have been collapsing. And I went to doctors and I was saying, hey, my arm feels like it's like not connected. And it's, it feels like it's, you know, and all these things that I tried to explain to doctors. And they're like, well, that doesn't make sense. I'll send you to physical therapy. And then they don't have any idea. Because the doctors haven't told them what to really look for. All they say is physical pain from fibromyalgia, which is not what I have. So what I've been trying to figure out is how my body has been twisted. And because at like five years old, a head injury and many things since, putting um, myself into a fight or flight mode, at a very young age, and I lived my life that entire, my entire life that way, you get into a mm, kind of thing. And I didn't realize until about a week ago that one of the biggest things that was an obstacle for me was me fighting to stand up. By fighting, it was, mm, I grind my teeth. And my jawbone has been so out of alignment and twisted and the muscles are so tight and up into my cheeks and even my eyes and my forehead everything has been mm. so I'm having to release all that but there are other injuries since that it's amazing what's happened but with this arm my left arm which at five years old I had to disconnect from because I had to go from being left-handed to being right-handed. I'm sorry, this is the reverse camera, so I do know left from right now. Um, where my elbow joint grabs, where the muscles feel like the end is, but they're not. And now I'm starting to feel all of that. I'm having to open everything up. 15 minutes ago, it felt like my... I couldn't tell if it was my heart, my ribs, my muscles on my ribs, my chest muscles, the muscles coming in and out from the arm. But it's like I'm ripping my arm loose and twisting it around, finally, because this is all starting to relax. So I'm becoming more centered. I'm feeling both limbs, my legs, the things that my feet, the new thing that I call them is unspasms. It's like a spasm where you get like a, but it's like an unspasm, and, and they're hard to take too. Hey, you would think they'd be fun, but hey, this is what I'm going through. This is where I'm at. It's been a ride, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately. This is my update. Uh, you know, going into month eight of therapy, and it's just, you know, let's go talk. And so I think the last one is uh, this week. I'm going to see him for the last time. And so far as doctors, we'll see what the doctors want to look at. I see one on the same day as well. So, till the next time, keep buggering on, because someday you might find the answers that you need. And if this helps anybody understand polyvagal and having to calm and not be turned into a fighter at all times. So, peace and love, JBF.